Christian Sonny, please can you come forward for your testimony, brother Christian Sonny, Sister Ape Favor, Sister Ape Favor, Ike Juba Joy, Ike Juba Joy, Mrs. Ann Amen, Mrs. Ann Amen, Elizabeth. Papa, please, can you come forward? Hallelujah. Sister, prepare favor. Hallelujah. Our sister is here to give God praise for confirming God's word in her life and in her family. She said around October, she uh, got pregnant. And after a short time, she began to bleed consistently for three days. And that was like the pregnancy was gone. The symptoms of pregnancy was gone totally. But she said, God's servant said, there shall be no loss. And she kept declaring that word until recently again. She went and checked and it was discovered that that same pregnancy was preserved. And she's not taking it for granted. Congratulations. There shall be no loss. Sister a Christian. Hallelujah. This is a Christian. Um, he said uh, there is a debt that has been owed him uh, outside a country and for, that has lasted for over three years and it was his major problem. I mean prayer point this year. He said after the Wednesday declarations when God servant made brutal declarations he left and his brother called that that money has been released. He's also thanking God for a pain in his eyes that was healed after the Wednesday service too. Congratulations. Mrs. Ann. Mrs. Ann is here to give God praise. She said to me that this year she made up her mind that she will be sowing a particular seed for preservation of her family. And every time she comes to church, aside from her usual offering, she drops a seed. She said her husband was traveling with his brother. And they ran into some very terrible guys. They started shooting at the gun, I mean at the car. And several bullets that penetrated into the car. But they were preserved. Nothing happened to them and she's not taking it for granted. Congratulations. Sister Joy is also giving God praise for confirming God's word. Although she's been praying for a change of job. But instead of a change of job, where she is, her salary was increased. And she's not taking it for granted. Hallelujah. Sister Elizabeth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to give God praise for his faithfulness. Hallelujah. We had been married for eight years, nine years counting now. And then we trusted God for the fruit of the womb. And then each year the world kept coming. It looked like nothing was happening. But last year the world came. For the start of the year, which was from Isaiah chapter 54. So we held on to that word. We started running with it. And then along the line, I didn't even know anything had happened. But there is one of our ministers there, Dadia Bali. He'd been standing with us in the place of prayer, fasting, and all those other stuff. And then I met him. I said, I needed to see Daddy. Unknown to me, I'd already taken in, but somehow... The devil wanted to rob me like he did somehow last year because the word was so strong last year, but along the line, like something went wrong. So I just met daddy 
I just, my minister Bali just told him, she's been trusting for eight years. Daddy just looked straight into my eyes and I could really feel fire. He just said, you demon of childlessness, get out. And that was all. I fell under the anointing. And the, the following month, I couldn't see my period. And lo and behold, in October, God delivered me of this. The demon went out and the baby came in. And today, she's here to give God the praise. Somebody celebrate the King of Kings. If that is for the King of Kings, you can do that better. Celebrate him with a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Welcome to this awesome and glorious presence of God. As we look at the seeds of destiny for today, 5th of February. The message for today, embracing the responsibilities of life. Encourage us to pick up the seeds of destiny and enjoy what God has for us in it. Thought for the day from our Papa, Bishop David Oyedepo. Life is a product of personal adventure. And we have two assignments. Number one, identify the spiritual responsibilities of your faith in God. And secondly, embrace those responsibilities. Lift up your hands as we pray. Say after me, O oh Lord, give me the grace, wisdom, and resources to embrace the responsibilities of my life. Deal with every form of laziness in my life. In Jesus' name. Put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Right now, we're going to receive the choir. And we're going to sing one of those songs received and written by God's servant. Songs that have been transforming and changing life. And this morning, I believe somebody is said to be blessed and to have a visitation. Put your hands together as you receive Dunamis Voice International.
Put your hands and let's worship him. Father, we give you the praise. We give you the honor. We give you the adoration. We bless you because you are God. Ancient of days, leader of the body of Jehovah the Maker, we worship you. Father, we give you the praise and the honor because with you all things are possible. We thank you because nothing on earth is difficult for you. You made the raven to feed the prophet. You made Sarah to smile. Father, let your impossibility, let impossibilities in our lives become possible today by your work. Let not one person live here the same. Even in our church, in our nation, in our families, in our communities. Make all things possible. Thank you, Father, for hearing and answering. In Jesus' precious name. Give the Lord a big clap of hand this morning. And before you sit down, shake the hands of seven people. Tell, tell them you are welcome to the presence of all possibilities. Welcome to the presence of the God of all possibilities. Welcome to the presence of the God of all possibilities. And the mighty sitter. Possible. Almighty God. The Lord bless you all in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Welcome everyone to the Blessing Sunday for the month of February. The Blessing Sunday also... For everyone watching via the satellite, the internet, the YouTube branch, the Facebook branch, and all our locations around the world, you will never live here the same in Jesus' name. This morning we are looking at the subject, the power of the blessing. This is part one. Genesis chapter 1 and in verse 28. Genesis chapter 1 verse 28. The Bible said, and God blessed them. Talking about Adam and Eve. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, subdue it, and have dominion over the field, over every that moveth upon the earth. The Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. The power of the blessing. We have two objectives this morning. First, it is understanding how powerful the blessing is. How powerful. And then secondly, it is understanding how to... That this thing called the blessing, I won't have it by mouth. I will have it in reality. And I will function with the blessing. Lift your right and say, I am blessed. Say, Lord, I am blessed. Say, I am blessed. And I am a barrier breaker, an obstacle crosser, a limit breaker, a territory taker. The blessing is a realm of illimitable existence. Illimitable. If that is ancient, limitless. Illimitable existence, limitless. That was what happened to all the people in scripture. That got the blessing. And finally, number six, the blessing positions the blessed in realms of abundance and greatness. Realms of abundance. The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich. Realms of abundance. That was Proverbs 10 22. The blessing is the antidote for poverty. 
The blessing is the antidote for wretchedness. In scripture, we saw that everyone that was blessed was big. Everyone that was blessed was not, was not permitted to beg. Hallelujah. Are you ready for that blessing this morning? You are stepping there. Let me take point number one very quickly. We said that a blessing impacts the supernatural force for the commencement of new beginnings. And I'll mention just three things. Number one, the blessing is needed for victory over stagnation or inertia. Inertia is the force I heard that is needed to start moving, to get into motion. You must, you need the, 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 to, the, the inertia, to, you, to overcome inertia in order to start moving. Right? Two forces, inertia, momentum. You overcome inertia to get a car moving. And you have to sustain momentum to keep it moving. In the same manner, the forces that make people unable to start things, they are overcome by the power of the blessing. Victory over stagnation. Victory over inertia. Adam, Adam was meant to start life by the impartation of the blessing. Abraham stayed in one place at the age of 75 was still in his father's house. God got him out of that house and got him moving into Canaan. Genesis chapter 12 verse 5 by the impartation of the blessing. It is a blessing that makes you overcome what held others back in your family. Now I'll talk about that later. Overcome, overcome inertia and stagnation. Second, the blessing is the force behind supernatural success stories. Supernatural success stories. Where a person is succeeding unbelievably. Supernatural success stories. Abraham, how did you do it? Nobody in your family has ever done that. What is your secret? Supernatural success stories. You read in history, men like John D. Rockefeller, Jesse Penny, and some of those giants that God raised in America, Lieutenant, who was the inventor of the earth moving machine during the Second World War that the American, Americans used. These were solid Christians. Wallace Johnson, co founder of the Holiday Inns, with about 120,000 employees under him. Solid man, blessed of God. Solid quality titles. There were success stories that people could not... How did this happen? It's the mystery. When God places the blessing on your life, the way you succeed amazes people until it begins to amaze yourself. Somebody is stepping into that realm. If you are that one, say a louder, Amen. Amen. Lift your right hand up and scream, I am blessed. Amen. Louder, I am blessed. Amen. Say without a doubt... I am blessed. And finally, the blessing is the factor for doing what others haven't done before and doing it excellently. The blessing is the force behind doing what others haven't done before and doing it excellently. The first time that anybody was going to coordinate the earth was Adam. Nobody had ever, God had never created another man before Adam. That was the first time somebody was going to, to do something on the earth. And that person was going to do it by the power of the blessing. The blessing. Rounding off this morning. How do you activate the power of the blessing? Having known how powerful the blessing is. Nobody needs the advice or the counsel. To struggle for this thing called the blessing. Whatever it takes me, I must be blessed. Is there anybody speaking like that? Lift your right and say, whatever it takes me, 
I must be blessed. I must be blessed. Say, say after me, say, no devil can stop me from being blessed. I must be blessed. Six factors. One, activating the blessing of activating the power of the blessing. There are six things to do. Number one, obedience to God and righteousness of life. Obedience to God and righteousness of life. You want this powerful thing called the blessing to come upon you and to walk in that frame, you must obey God and you must be upright in life. Number two is the practice of tithing and giving. The practice of tithing and giving. Malachi 3 and in verse 10, bring all your tithes in the storehouse and, op- and, and, and prove me if I will not open the windows of heaven and pour you out. The practice of tithing and giving. Nobody can smell the blessing who does not value the place of the tithe. Number three, existence under priestly or prophetic covering. Existence under priestly or prophetic covering. Prophetic covering or influence. The Bible says without all contradiction, the less is blessed or the better. Somebody at a higher level of spirituality and blessing than you is the one positioned to bless your life. Under priestly or prophetic covering and influence. Very, very critical. Number 623 says, On this wise shall the priest bless the people. So the priests are custodians of the blessing. Number four, existence as a blessing, especially to the poor. Existence as a blessing. Nobody can be blessed until he is a blessing. God told Abraham, I will bless you and thou shalt be a blessing. If a person must be blessed, he must be a blessing. A blessing to God, a blessing to man, a blessing to the poor, a blessing to, to, to those that, are, that, that matter to his life. Existence as a blessing. Number five, the lifestyle of faithfulness. The Bible said the faithful man shall abound with the blessing. Being faithful, doing the right things consistently. Doing the word of God consistently. Doing the will of God consistently. The faithful man shall abound with the blessing. The person who is not reliable can never be blessed. And finally, the lifestyle of faith. The lifestyle of faith. If you look at scripture, you see that Abraham was the father of faith. And Abraham was also the father of the blessing. Somebody say a loud amen. We'll look at this first point very quickly. And my counsel to everyone, like I do in most services, is that you pick up the MP3 that contains all the messages. So you can get the points in detail. Because the time is too short for us to preach all these things in one service. Alright? And so, now, Psalm 5 verse 12, the Bible said, For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor will thou compass him as with a shield. So the righteous is positioned for the blessing. Psalm 24, verse 3 to 5. Psalm 24, verse 3 to 5. It says, Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He said, He that has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. This kind of man, he said, He shall receive the blessing from the Lord. So righteousness, crookedness kills the blessing. Crookedness, crooked dealings, crooked deals, crookedness of ways, it kills the blessing. Uprightness of life draws the blessing. And of course, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1 to 2, Deuteronomy 28, and in verse 1 to 2, and it shall come to pass it, thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all the commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And all this blessing shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord your God. So, hearkening to the voice of God, listening to the voice of God, is a trigger for the blessing. Somebody say it loud, amen. amen. So, obeying God, obedience to God, and righteousness of life. And take note of the four of the following points, and then we shall be true. First, what does it mean, obeying God and, and righteousness? 
What is the implication of obedience to God and righteousness of life? First, is living a God-pleasing life that is devoid of sin. Living a God-pleasing life devoid of sin. This will attract the blessing as, as we saw already. Living a God-pleasing life devoid of sin. Second, existence with a conscience that is void of offense towards God and man. Existence with a conscience. If you want the power of the blessing of God in your life, you must exist with a conscience that is void of offense towards God and towards man. Existence with a conscience that is void of offense towards man and towards God according to Acts chapter 16 verse 24. Paul the apostle exercised his conscience to be void of offense towards God and towards man. 24, 16 rather. 24, 16. And so please ensure that if it is this powerful blessing you are looking for, you don't live in sin. Thirdly, obedience. Obedience. Okay, let, let's say it like this. Obeying blessing provoking instructions. Obeying blessing provoking instructions. When we say obedience brings the blessing, it means obeying blessing provoking instructions. What kind of instructions? Like Titan. Obeying that instruction of the tithe. What kind of instruction? Submission to prophetic cover. Obeying that instruction. What kind of instruction? Being a blessing to the needy. Obeying that instruction. Giving the word of God is place in your life. Obeying that instruction. Any instruction that is given, that is said, this instruct, this thing can make you be blessed. Obeying the instruction, not just hearing it, is what brings the blessing. The Bible said it is not hearers of the word only, but doers of the word. I believe that was James chapter 1 and in verse 25. Doers of the word, he said, This man shall be blessed in his deed. The man who, do, who does the work, word shall be blessed in his deed. Am I communicating at all? So obeying blessing, provoking instruction. And, and finally, number five. Obeying prophetic instructions. Obeying prophetic instructions. Whenever you are in the church and the prophet of God or the servant of the Lord or your priest is saying, this is the direction we are going. This is what God is saying to, you, to us. This is what we should do. Obeying such instruction is a doorway to the blessing. Disobeying prophetic instructions cuts people off from the blessing. This morning, I see somebody about to connect this powerful blessing. If you are the one, say it louder. Amen. Amen. Anybody ready here to run with that blessing? Jump on your feet with a loud shout of amen. Amen. A louder shout of amen. Amen. Take your seat. Now jump again with a louder shout of praise. Lift your right and say, I am blessed beyond the curse. I am blessed beyond the curse. Say, I am blessed five times. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. And I am blessed. Lift your hands and begin to give God the praise. Give God the praise. Give God the praise. Give Him the honor. Give Him the adoration. Ancient of days. Lily of the valley. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name. Lift your hands up high and say, Father, I thank you for your word. On the power of the blessing. I position myself today to connect with the power of the blessing. Father, help me to obey you. Help me to be faithful to you. Help me to practice fighting and giving. Help me to exist under priestly and prophetic covering. Help me, Lord, to exist as a blessing to my generation. Help me, Lord, to live the life of faith and faithfulness. I receive the grace, oh Lord, to connect this blessing today in Jesus' name. Lift your voice and speak to God. I receive that grace. I receive that grace. I receive that grace. In 
Jesus precious name lift up your two hands all eyes are closed from the front to the back the galleries the overflows and everywhere anyone here today that is in need of surrender to Jesus you know that you need your sins forgiven you want today to mark a new day for you you want Jesus to be Lord over your life you say pastor I'm not living uprightly I want to make it right with God today anywhere you are pray this prayer with me and say Lord Jesus say it louder Lord Jesus I am a sinner in need of help come into my life and make me a new person today I have decided to follow you Jesus and no turning back forward ever backward never thank you Lord in Jesus precious name Amen someone is already out anywhere you are you need to hand over your life to Jesus Christ the main sanctuary, the galleries, the overflows quickly you pray that prayer just now carry your Bibles and your bags and rush to the front here as I'll give you the count of seven, quickly don't be the last to come, be the first, God bless you one Lord I give you my heart two I give you my heart three coming keep on coming while they come i speak prophetically into the communion the bible says it is the cup of the blessing according to first corinthians 10 and in, in verse 16 and so i speak the blessing of god through this communion today in the name of jesus stretch your hands in my direction close your eyes and receive the prayer as seriously as you can i decree today that every curse in your life in your body in your system be destroyed by the power of the communion in the name of Jesus everything I spoke about regarding the power of the blessing I declare it released into your life and I call it done in Jesus precious name say it louder amen everyone sick in the body afflicted in any way by the cup of the blessing it is flushed out of your body in Jesus precious name Take your seat in the presence of the Lord and let the communion start. Those of you on your knees, place your right hand on your chest. Lift the other hand up as you pray this prayer with me and say, Lord Jesus, I come before you today to ask for forgiveness for my sins. Today, I have decided to follow you, Jesus. No turning back. Forward ever. Backward never. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I ask that the hold of sin be broken of these lives and the grace to live for you be released on them in Jesus' name. Stand up on your feet. Counselors, please go with them. The communion process is on. By your blood, oh Lord. 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 Oh Lord.
so 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 I prophesy upon the hands in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. I declare from this day forward, these hands can never be empty. Whatever is yours from the north, the south, the east, and the west, they are released upon your hands. Every system, human being, man, woman, boy, girl, holding what is yours, they lose their peace and sleep and rest until what is yours enters your hands. Receive your harvest now in Jesus' name. Pick up your offering very quickly. Your tithes, your pledges, and all that you have brought to God. You just heard about the tithing now. Ensure that you are. So I thank you for the blood. So, so, so I thank you for the blood. So I thank you for the blood. So I thank you for the blood. Oh, oh, oh. So I thank you for the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, so I thank you for the blood of Jesus Christ. For all the online viewers, numbers are on the screen. You can text. Um, many have told us they don't know how to go about offering. You can send it. Ask for what to do from those numbers via text. And they will let you know what to do and how to give your offerings. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Pick up, uh, lift up your offerings. Father, multiply the harvest of every giver. From the north, the south, the east, and the west. Let the hands lifted never drop down in poverty or to beg. In Jesus' precious name. Pass it on quickly. So I thank you for the blood. So I thank you for the blood. So I, so I thank you for the blood. So I thank you. So I thank you for the blood of Jesus Christ. So, so, so I thank you. So I thank you for the blood. So I thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood. I would like us to pay very close attention because I have very, very, very critical announcements to make within the next seven to eight minutes. And I mentioned during the break of fast that the spiritual actions for this year shall be made manifest to us this Sunday. How many of you remember? Um, so, ushers, please, you will follow me according to what I lift up the time. We have this Bible divider. It's going to be given to everybody free of charge that you use to put inside your Bible as markers. And this is 22, 2017, our year of divine proofs. On that marker, you see, it's our year of divine visitation, manifestations, and demonstrations. It's our year of, um, you know, all, man, all the things that were declared this year. You will see it right in the front. Then at the back of it, it will tell you, no, that's not the one I'm talking about. It now gives you the back of this same card. Keys to experiencing divine proofs. The, number one, the knowledge of God. Number two, the life of prayer. Number three, the life of faith. Number four, the life of soul winning. And number five, the life of giving and tithing. This is just to be with you permanently as a reminder. Am I communicating? You just pick it up. Give the Lord a big clap of hand if you are excited. Just to remind you what the year is all about. And also to remind you what to do to see what God wants you to experience. We dedicate it in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Master, in Jesus' name. Please pick only one. Don't pick two. All right? We have six services this morning and uh, uh, today, and so it has to go around. So just pick only one. And everybody watching around the world, please, um, we'll, we'll make it available for you on, online. And, and those of us in Dynamics Churches, um, your, your, yours will be communicated within the course of the week. God bless you in Jesus' precious name. Somebody give the Lord a loud shout of praise. Pass it on very quickly. Are you excited, people? 
Only very few. I saw one or two people excited from the choir side. I wish everybody else was as, as excited as that. Give the Lord a bigger clap and a shout of praise. Our second, the second thing that we would, would like to know is that since last year the Lord began to walk on, on my heart certain directions and it became very, very clear this year. I didn't say it in a hurry because I wanted to be sure of it. And that direction is that there is a fast that we are going to embark upon. A prayer and a fasting that we are going to embark upon. You, 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 have, you may not have done it before. But if you want to do, if you want to see what God has not done in your life before, you must do what you haven't done before. So for the, for the, for the minimum of 12 months, we are going to do a 6 to 7 hour fast daily. That is, from 6 a.m. to 12 o'clock. Highest 1 o'clock. 6 a.m. to 12 o'clock. That is, you skip. The only thing you miss is breakfast. Is it too much? How many can do it? I thought you would stand and scream with a shout of praise. A louder shout of praise. You will be shocked at what God will do with your life. I have done it not once, maybe not twice, not even till 12. <laughs> I won't tell you my own. We have done almost 500 days before fasting till a certain time. Now, it is going to just shift your life. That is, you, you will take off like this, spiritually and otherwise. And this is our year of divine proofs. That is, we are putting pressure in the realm of the spirit. Father, you prove yourself in my life by force. I am going to skip breakfast. Now, if you have covenant with food, you can, if you have covenant and you must eat by dole, not after six, but six to twelve. And if you want to make it perfect, seven hours, that's six to one. All right? But between twelve and one, daily, you can eat anything you want from one o'clock. If you want, you can eat 20 times after 12 till night, till daybreak. But six in the morning till 12, bam. No food. Who can do it? Give the Lord a big clap of hand. How many of you can feel the fire that is about to burn? The revival. The revival. Shout, Father! I am ready to run with you. Give the Lord a big clap of hand and take your seat. So he told us, he said, prayer is part of the divine, of, of, of the thing that will provoke the divine proofs. And of course, you know that it is prayer and fasting. Give the Lord the praise. Are you ready for the third dimension? Now, the third one is, I'll read it from the book of Acts of the Apostles. Anybody excited again? Say a louder amen. amen. You are excited. Acts chapter 2, verse 46, very quickly. And they continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart. Acts chapter 5, verse 41. The Bible also said, and they departed from the presence of It's not the scripture I'm looking for. But they continued daily in one accord in the temple and in break Acts chapter 4, probably. Hallelujah. The critical thing is that Acts of the Apostles met daily. From last year, the Lord began to minister to me a daily divine encounter meeting. That if we must embrace apostolic results, we must embrace apostolic routines. If we want to see, rewrite the book of Acts of the Apostles, if we need apostolic products, we must embark on apostolic practices. 
So we are going to be having the minimum of one hour, one and a half hours daily for the same length of time with the fast. All you need to do is you go to work and just branch the church for one hour before going back home. Am I communicating? Monday, 5.30 p.m. Tuesday, 5.30 p.m. Wednesday is midweek service, so the midweek service covers that. Thursday, 5.30 p.m. Friday, 5.30 p.m. Saturday, Dunamis from church. You are just at the Dunamis from church. Sunday, we are in church for Sunday. So every day, a meeting. Hey! Somebody say something must happen. Ay, 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 ay.